computer-aided design is not just about drawing more efficiently, it's also about deleting things more efficiently. NanoCAD has its delete command right here, and let's see how it works. To delete something in the drawing, you can click the delete button here on the ribbon, and then when you go down to the command bar, you see that it asks you to select objects. So I'm going to select this block here, click on it, and then when I'm done, press enter and it's gone. No worries, if you make a mistake, just undo the action. Come up here to the Quick Action Toolbar and you see that the Undo button is in blue. That means you have an action you can undo. Click it and the block is back again. Now if you want to erase it again, you don't have to do the Delete command again. You can now do the Redo command, which reverses the Undo. Now when I'm deleting and undoing and redoing in drawings, I tend to use keyboard shortcuts because it's much faster. So for example, to erase this block, select it, hit the delete key. To bring it back, press Ctrl Z. And then to reverse the undo, press Ctrl Y. If you want to erase more than one thing that is identical, then I recommend you come up here to the properties panel and then click on select similar objects. So I'm going to click it. I'm going to select the object that I want NanoCAD to search for, press enter, and now when I zoom out, I can see that it's found three of these blocks. And I can now press delete to get rid of all three of them. Here's a quick tip if you're noodling around in a drawing and quickly want to get rid of everything. Just press Ctrl A to select all entities in the drawing and then press the delete key to get rid of them. Now it turns out that some commands have an undo option built into them. So here I am using the line command to draw some lines. If you look down here on the command line you'll see there is an undo option and every time I click it NanoCAD erases the last segment that I drew and then I can keep on drawing from that point forward. Similarly the P-Line command has an undo option built in. So if we come down here again to the command prompt, and you see there the undo option, so I'll click it, and each time I do, another polyline segment is undrawn. Mm -hmm.